Folks, how are we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. I am excited today. You know, I, I, I wanted to capture this on video, so I've been putting it off. It's been sitting outside, it actually got rained on last night. I think it'll be okay. But I have been sick and tired of filling up five gallon tanks. I've got a lot of diesel equipment around here. One, two, three, four, five, six, six machines taking diesel out here right now. And I go through a lot of diesel, all right? I got five of these cans. You know, these are five gallon sure cans. These things are great. They're fantastic, all right? So if you've got a, not as uh, aggressive of an application, I don't know what the right word is, but these things are nice, all right? They're not gonna leak out if you like that. You push this little handle down, kind of push it in there and then you can drop it down. Very nice, they store easy balance whatever else i've got these for uh, my gas cans as well they sell them for kerosene i think water too um, so you know they're really handy i actually always keep one uh, diesel and one gas can in the back of my truck uh, right now just strapped to the side just in case of emergency but this thing here is an 80 gallon tank that i got off of some website Ellsworth or something like that. I'll put a link up there. I don't have any commissions or anything like that coming from them, but uh, more or less just wanted to show you what this is about. I got this with a, a few extra features as well on it, and I'm, I'm going to get this opened up and then we'll, we'll talk more about it. Oh, that's nice. I was not sure what to expect under there. All right, we scooted this up into the sun a little bit for you. So it's got a couple little latches right here. The back is hinged. So nice cover there, stays open on its own. And so then we can see what we got along with it. Okay, so here is the, uh, well, let's see. Number one, here's the, the transfer pump and here's the manual for that. This just plugs in to a wall outlet, okay? That's really cool. So. I don't know, I got a wall out, yeah, I got a wall out there right there. So I can plug it in right there if I want to. Um, now I got a couple extra things with it. Okay, so if the glare can't see that, maybe electronic digital meter, that we can see how much fuel's going through there. And then this is an automatic, no, high flow. I thought this was uh, an automatic shut off. No pressure, no flow feature for added safety, three locking flow rate positions. Flow rate, five to 25 GPMs. Anyway, that's what that is there, but it did come with one already. I can, maybe I gotta cut this, rip it. So this is the standard nozzle that it came with right there. One inch manual diesel nozzle high flow nozzle one inch. So anyway, I don't know about that though. I mean, if you look at the output ends there, those are definitely different diameters. Yeah, here's who I got it from right here. It says, they put a little label on there, J.M.E. Ellsworth, a John M. Ellsworth company. So that's not the, the brand though. The brand is Rhino Tough Tanks. Now this one they said was rated for diesel. I, I, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what makes this rated for diesel and not for gasoline or whatever. But um, anyway, that's what it is. But then I added on this stand. This is a four-way pallet parking stand, I guess, that is on there too. That way I can come fork this thing up, put it in the back of my truck, take it to um, you know, the, the fuel station and fill it up and then bring it back and drop it off. So they had a lot of different sizes. Uh, this one was 80 gallons. I think it weighed around 150 pounds empty, which isn't that much. I think it's you can kind of shifted it around a bit. It's not very heavy right now, but when you have 80 pounds of, or 80 gallons of fuel in there, it's going to add up to a lot. But I want to be able to use most of my tractors here, most of my equipment to be able to offload it. Um, didn't want to go too big. I want it to fit nice and easy in the back of the truck bed as well. And I think this is the, the right call for me. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden, 
We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of rim guard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at rimguardsolutions.com. So this looks to be the uh, fuel fill. Not sure what's going on there. I'm threading that whole thing. Hang on here. What do we got going on here? I'm just kind of spinning that whole black steel ring there. There we go. I don't like how this uh, this hose is right in the way of this cap. Keep on turning. Get her tight. It needs to move all the way over there. Ah, that's what it is. So you have to, no, it's not spring loaded, but it is kind of like a medicine cap. No, it's not spring loaded. So you can go all the way over to there. It's gonna hit that stop. You need to push it down, continue on, and then you can take it off. You just gotta know how these things work. You gotta be smarter than the, uh, than the tool. And if you don't know, now you know. Okay. Let's pretend this is the first time. Yeah, first. Show us that fuel cap. First time. Look at this fuel cap here. This thing's pretty slick. Let's take a look at how that works. Probably works like a piece of cake. Oh, yeah. Beauty. Real beauty right there. Great design too, really, if you think about it. Um, and, and there we go, okay. All right, folks, so we're gonna go get some, uh, some tape, some thread tape here, fill this thing up. I'm excited to make sure that this thing fits in the back of my truck, get it back here, offload it, plug it in, put this new nozzle and flow meter on, and it's gonna be like a regular gas station, a regular diesel station out here. I, I can't wait.
right, folks, so we have this thing all set up, hooked up, get everything on there. Fingers crossed, this is gonna work well, and I don't even know why, but Chris was, why were you thinking that this was deaf only in the beginning? Why were you even questioning it? Oh, well, oh, yeah, that's what it was. When we were filling this up, we were just kind of talking about, I think, what things are rated for, like plastics or different components or whatever else it was. And so Chris was looking up to see what, uh, just information about this. And when you pull it up, like on Rhino's website there, it's listed as a deaf tank, deaf only. And there's even a sticker right here that says deaf only on there. So that was after this thing was already full of diesel. We were a little concerned, so we called up Rhino directly to pick their brains. And basically what they said is that this is overbuilt for diesel. There's some more stringent requirements required, needed for deaf. And so this has those kind of extra, I don't know if it's standards, whatever they are um, on here. So if anything, we kind of overpaid for this diesel tank, which I looked that up and it was a little over 1800 bucks, including this four-way stand, including uh, the meter, the automatic shutoff. So I paid to have some extras and that includes shipping to my house as well. It came on a freight truck, offloaded it from the back of the semi truck last week at some point. So now we are good to go. Um, uh, it was just almost basically 80 gallons that we put in here, just a hair underneath. Capped off at 175 bucks, another 175, so that's 315, and another 70, so 420 bucks of diesel sitting in here right now. But I'm gonna turn this thing on and plug it into that. We got an outlet right there. And uh, which, which machine should we do first, huh? Oh, yeah, Chris is saying the, the markings up here only go to 70 gallons. There's no 80 meter or uh, 80 gallon mark on here anywhere. Not that that's the end of the world, but it is an interesting note. And then also I've got this extra nozzle here now that's one of those things that'll sit on a shelf for an eternity. So I don't know what to do with this. I didn't need two of them. I hate just throwing it around, but maybe I'll scrap it. I don't know what the value is of it, but I don't, I don't have another need for it. All right, got this little slot back here. Out of bing. Moment of truth, huh? Just double check. There's no switch. Oh, there is a switch here. Can't see what that switch is. This can't, it says something. Oh, what's a, a circle and a line? The line is off or is a circle off? Well, it was like that, so I'm gonna leave it like that. And... saved a bunch of feet. Uh-oh. Leaking. Leaking? Uh, it's not leaking now. I don't know what that means, but it is leaking. I can't tell out of where. Leaking like a sieve. Automatic shutoff. I wonder if I have to like uh, leave any pressure in here or not. Nope. Wow. All right, folks. Well, that worked pretty slick. Got a little little leak there to take care of. We'll get that. We'll get that part figured out. But that was a piece of cake. Worked just like it should. You know, works just like the transfer tank in the back of uh, one of the trucks that I have too. You know, just. Well, on that one, you, you pull up a little lever and it kicks the pump on. This one, you hit a switch and it kicks the pump on. Uh, it is really nice that it has the auto shutoff on there. You know, they sent me directly a link to the part to buy for that nozzle with the automatic shutoff, but it didn't say anywhere on the actual packaging itself. So, but we saw it work there, so that worked great. Uh, fuel meter's nice too, you know, just like at a station, you know, you can see how much fuel you're putting in there. So that was a really nice thing. I'm glad I added that on. So anyway, we'll get this little, little leak fixed up here, but man, that sure beats holding a five gallon tank. And this thing, well, you can see we're already down to 60 gallons or just a hair above it. We put almost 20 gallons in here to fill it up. It was almost empty, the Kubota was. So that, that would have been four five gallon tanks right there, which is, you know, and you're just sitting there holding it forever. So uh, really nice, super happy. I may end up getting one of these for the gasoline as well for the Rangers, the side-by-side, -side, um, the zero turn. I think that's all the gas equipment out here. But anyway, you know, we go through a lot of, a lot of fuel one way or another. Um, yeah, so I don't sell these again. I'll post a link to where you can get it online though if you want something like that. 
However, if there's something else I should try, I'm totally open to it for gasoline. So I'm not sold on this. I just, you can analyze this stuff forever and not make a decision. And I just, I wasn't gonna do that. So I kind of narrowed it down on a quick list um, and pulled the trigger just to get it done because there's so many options out there. Probably a lot of them will get the job done too. And at the end of the day, that's what I needed. So anyway, I'd love to get your feedback on that. Let me know what you think about this or what else I should consider for that gas tank. Now, if you're looking for something for your tractor for a front end loader or a three point hitch, we'd love to help you out. You gotta go to goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship attachments all over the country on a semi truck or UPS ground right to your house. Give us a shot. Hit subscribe right down below if you wanna see more, it's completely free. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.